Hi, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Connected Body Podcast. Today, I have a fabulous guest. His name is Dr. Ronald Drucker, and he is a natural healing physician, an autoimmune specialist, and he is also the author of the book, The Code of Life, The Anti-Aging Disease Prevention and Recovery Breakthrough of Our Lifetime. So welcome, Dr. Drucker. Oh, thank you so much, Laura. That's very nice of you. Great. Well, I'm very excited to have you here. We're going to start. Why don't you introduce yourself and give us a little bit of your background before we get Okay, started. sure. Well, um, 54 years ago, uh, actually 55 years ago now, I decided to ch- switch from chemistry to biology because um, I was in night school and the uh, the fellow chemist there said to me, you don't want to be a chemist. And they explained, well, I won't go into it. But I said, okay, you're right. So I switched to bio. So I figured, well, what am I going to do? I have to either dis- uh, find the cures or prevention for diseases. What else? So being my naive uh, 19-year-old uh, kind of nerdy self, I figured, okay, how am I going to find the cures for disease? Well, I have to do medical research. Right? Well, how do I do medical research? I'll become a medical technologist. I'll work in a medical laboratory. I'll learn all of the scientific ways of diagnosing and learning about disease, you know, pathology and microbiology and chemistry and hematology. And I'll learn how to use microscopes, all that stuff. Right? All the fun so stuff. And sure enough, sure enough, there was a program at my college. The first three years you took, you know, regular courses in biology. But the last year you worked in the hospital lab which I was, boy, I was so happy being there. I'm learning all this about diagnostics, yeah. and, you know, medical tests and you name it. And um, I, I went to the, to the supervisor and I said to him, look, I want to do research. So he hands me a cancer research file. I'm like, you know, doing cancer research, wow. you know? Wow. Not, not only that, but in the evening, I would go to the medical library and I'd get all the slides, all the, all the slides of all the different diseases. And I'd look under the microscope until my eyes got so tired, I'd fall asleep. <laughs> so, and I did that night after night. So I'm learning pathology, diagnosis, you name it. And right. boy, did I learn about disease. I learned more about disease than you can imagine. Wow. But what did I learn about health? Nothing, because they don't mm. teach you anything about health. Mm. See, the hospital, who's the chief doctor in the hospital? The pathologist. Mm-hmm. Pathologist means the one who studies disease. Right. And I was interested in health. So anyway, and what I found was, in short order, that medicine was pretty good if you had a medical emergency. Say you had a broken bone, a car accident, maybe you were bleeding, maybe you had a heart attack, you were in severe pain. They could often help you. Sometimes they could even save your life, right? Right. Sometimes they did, but sometimes they didn't. Okay. But you had a chance. But what about with chronic? Did they ever cure arthritis, diabetes, uh, Autoimmune diseases with zero cure. How, uh, uh, cancer, single digits, and they taught you half to death. Your hair would fall out. It was miserable. They burn your skin. It's horrible what they do to these people. Yeah. And um, very little, in, in, almost no cures. Mm-hmm. Lots of treatments. Yeah. Lots of diagnosis. Lots of x-rays, CAT scans, drugs, surgery. But where, what about the poor patients, you know? Right. So this is what, so I, I so I just, after five years, I decided I'm leaving the hospital. And I'm going to study how to cure or prevent disease. I'm going to keep up with the medical research. Mm -hmm. I'm going to read articles and talk to doctors, go to seminars, whatever I had to do, read books. But I, you know, obviously I got got out of that. So I became a chiropractic physician. I figured I couldn't hurt anybody. I didn't like blood and guts anyway. Mm -hmm. But I I kept up with the medical research. So Mm -hmm. now this is 50 something years later. I have more figured out more cures and preventions than you can imagine. And I'll be happy to share some of them with you. Uh, well, yes, that is why we're here. So let's talk about um, autoimmune disease and what it is and what causes it. Yeah. Okay. Well, autoimmune diseases, if you talk to the most medical uh, professionals, they will say they really don't know why. Right. Well, if you can't cure it, how do you know why it's there? It's sort of like, like a catch-22. So, but in my experience, I I think I do. So let's say somebody has chronic infections, bacterial Mm -hmm. or viral infections. Isn't that going to overstimulate their immune system? And there may be a miscoordination or an an overreaction. 
and that mm -hmm. can cause it chronic inflammation and an autoimmune disease. How about lack of certain nutrients that are absolutely essential for the sure. human body to communicate from cell to cell or from immune system to cell? That's why I call my book, The Code of Life, because it's literally a biological communication system. It's like a right. code. For example, a white cell is floating by and it looks at, it, it has a way of sensing, you know, what's on, on your cells. And if it doesn't hit the right biochemicals, it thinks you're the enemy. Then you have autoimmune disease. Mm -hmm. But what if you had all the right biochemicals where they belong? Then all of a sudden, the immune system leaves you alone and then goes after the bad guys, like the bacteria, viruses, fungi, even cancer, slow wound healing. And so the immune system, when it's working right, not only does it protect you from disease and autoimmune disease, but it gets the bad guys. And you stay really healthy. It really becomes very hard to kill when your immune system's in good, good shape. Unfortunately, in the modern world, they've done so many things. And when I say they, I mean, whether it's agribusiness or whether it's pollution or whether it's what, basically, we're loaded with toxins. Right. I'm sure most people know. And, and we have a, 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 a food supply that has lacking nutrients. And since yeah. World War II, they use these artificial fertilizers. I mean, organic farm, farming went out. Uh, it, it, it was all organic yeah, prior to World War II. Right. Now it's right. All, almost all uh, commercial and synthetic. I mean, yeah. we have GMOs. We have more bug sprays and pesticides and herbicides than you can imagine. We have more pollution. So this is what's creating autoimmunities. Now, severe stress can, can bring it on. Sure. But you ever hear something called leaky gut syndrome? Of course, yes. See, so what happens is you have these little cells, they're beautiful little cells, they line the small intestine, they're called enterocytes, and they're mm -hmm. supposed to be right next to each other like this. But mm -hmm. what happens is if you have a gap, then all kinds of material from the from the inside of the gut, can, the, the intestines, can leak into the bloodstream or the lymphatics. Right. Now you have an antigen antibody reaction, you have histamines, inflammation, you have what's called right. cross reactivity or molecular mimicry. And now you have the immune system misidentifying your tissues sure. for something else. Right. Whether it's an allergy or immune. And so what we do is we heal up the leaky gut, mm -hmm. clean up your diet, we do a little detoxification. And you get you all the proper nutrients. In fact, I run a test called my 30 systems test. It's, it's remarkable. It's way beyond any blood test or any scans. It tests you for every vitamin, mm -hmm. every mineral, toxic metals like mercury, aluminum, cadmium, arsenic, et cetera. Yeah. Tests you for pesticide residues. Tests to all the organs in your liver, your kidneys, your heart, your, wow. brain, your immune system, whether you have osteoporosis, whether you have a fatty liver. It's amazing. Wow. And I get over 300 data points. And when mm -hmm. I put that together, I know more about you than your mother knows about you. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> That's amazing. What is this test called? I call it my 30 systems test. Okay. Look, anybody can call me. And by the way, I don't charge people on the phone. You know, a lot okay. of these doctors, you got call, make it a phone. Just right. call me. My, my phone number, 954-547-0487. I love you know, it. There's I no, excuse me, but there's no Iron Maiden at the front desk. You understand? Right. I'm not, yeah. I'm not more concerned with your insurance than with you. Right. You know, that's, I'm going to put you refreshing. first. Listen, my, my first visit is usually about, about an hour or more. Mm -hmm. You know what? One of my best professors told me, 90% of the diagnosis is in the history. Well, you can't get a history in five minutes. No. It take time. No. You know? Yeah. And then, then, it, then when you know the history, now you're already pointing in the right direction. Right. Now you do a few tests. Next thing you know, you're arriving at a diagnosis. In fact, I don't just do a diagnosis. I do what's called the differential diagnosis. I'll give you an example. Let's say you had pain down your leg. So the doctor says, well, you have a sciatic. Right. right. But what's causing the sciatic? Right. There's about 12 different things that can usually cause sciatic. Poor circulation can, can cause pain. In the blood. Mm -hmm. A blood clot can cause pain. In the blood. A pinched right. nerve in your back, a hip out of place, a, a vertebral misalignment. How yes. about a spinal tumor that could cause? Now you yeah. can't just guess. You got to run the right tests and see what your history leads you in the right direction. Then you run some right. orthopedic neurologic tests, and after and after you know, then you figure it out. Right. You see. So I love I love all that. Love it. So you you know you touched on all the toxins that we're all exposed to every day so many even before we leave the house but so how do we go about detoxing from those um yeah well, that's a great question and the answer is a little bit complex 
but act but completely safe, not expensive. Mm -hmm. um, there are there's there's a, there are some supplements you can take that are uh -huh. called chelating agents. Yes. In Latin, chelation means claw. It literally grabs a hold of the toxin and helps pull it out of your body. Right, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. So like this, an inexpensive, very simple to take chelating agents I can get you. Mm -hmm. um, I love saunas. Saunas are uh, great. You know, I have I, a sauna at home. Oh, you're so lucky. Red light, love it. Yeah. Oh, you're very yeah. lucky. Well, you know, I call the skin the third kidney. Yeah. Because, you know, and sweating is wonderful. Uh, drink plenty of clean water, enough to uh, throughout the day. Make sure you have yeah. bowel function. There's a number of things, mm -hmm. and each, each individual is somewhat different. You know, some mm -hmm. people may they may need may need an, may need an herbal laxative and drink more water. Mm -hmm. Somebody else, maybe they just need the uh, the chelating agent, or maybe a little more vitamin C. What it's, I, I'm I'm going to customize it. Again. Everybody's different, and I think that's huge because you know a lot of people hear detox and they think, "Oh my gosh, I can't eat for a week," or it's going to be a water-only fast, and it doesn't have to be so harsh to detox the body. Well, that's true. Although I will say this: when you have a severely ill person, yeah, you'd be amazed how effective even as little as a five-day clean water fast could be yes. to get them started. Yes. Maybe yes. you've heard. Maybe you've heard of Hippocrates Institute, for example. Yeah. Yes, now I've they, been there. They 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 put people on you know organic sprout diets and all this yes. vegetarian. And you know yes. they, they they get people off to a good start. But of course, the follow through is almost impossible. But who's mm -hmm. going to be spent all the time sprouting and drinking or you know wheat bread? It's a bit much. It's, you know? it's, it's very tough. impractical. And it's on the border the borderlines on really impossible. So, but there's a grain of truth to what they're doing. And that is that they do detoxify people for a, yeah. for a period of time and yeah. get their immune system working a little better and get them, you know, get the toxic load off yeah. and ease off on their diet. So you can start with something like that. I don't happen to like wheatgrass juice for a number of reasons, which I'll I go into, but they, they, I feel they make some mistakes. But, but, they, but they do have the right idea as far as detoxifying people, basically. Yeah. Then we take it, but we don't have to go through those extremes. Um, although juicing is wonderful, no question juicing. about it. Juicing yeah. is wonderful, but it, but you know, again, it's it takes time. It's difficult. You got to go out and get the organic vegetables. You got to clean the juicer. You know, uh, there are ways around it. I'll give tell you one a very quick story. I had a call. So, see, I put my phone number, believe it or not, my cell phone on the internet. I know nobody mm -hmm. does that, mm -hmm. and I got a call about ten years ago from a fellow. He's from Texas, and this is what he said. He said, I'll never forget the conversation. He says to me, I have the worst case of ulcerative colitis. I have 20 bloody bowel movements today. It's killing me, quote unquote. The doctors want to cut out my colon and give me a bag. Please, I'm desperate. Oh. What do I do? So I said, okay, look, don't worry. I got a, I got a great track record on ulcerative colitis. Don't worry. Right. Take a deep breath. Relax. But I'll tell you exactly what to do. So I put him on a real healthy diet. I asked him some questions. I figured out the right diet for him. On a really mm -hmm. healthy diet. And I loaded him up with these immune modulators, for which basically that's my claim to fame. Right. Modulator. I gave him a double dose, right? Mm -hmm. And the immune modulators started healing up his gut and healed his immune system and knocked down the inflammation and the strict diet didn't, you know, didn't infuriate things. Mm -hmm. And he was doing better and better and better. Mm -hmm. And for a couple of months, I didn't hear from him. Yeah. So about, I would say it was 10 months after our first phone call, Hadn't heard from him, I'd say, a couple of months. I mean, okay. probably eight months. Right. He calls me up. He says, you know what? It worked. <laughs> I said, what worked? I didn't even, I mean, no, guy, you know, what a conversation. Oh, what? You know, right. what worked. So I said to him, well, what, what worked? He said, I did everything you said I stayed on my strict diet. And I took double the dose of those immune modules. I'm 100% better, but I'm not happy. I swear to God. I, I said, what do you mean? I saved you from surgery. You don't, you don't have the bag. You 100%. What, what's wrong with you? Yeah. He says, well, I'll tell you why. Because my buddies go out on Friday night, they go to the bar, they drink beer and have pepperoni pizza, and I feel left out, right? <laughs> so I said, what do you want me to do? You're 100% better. He's, well, think about it. So I thought of it. His maintenance dose was four capsules a day of the immune mm -hmm. and a very, very, very good diet. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, look. <laughs> that's a, that's a bad predicament to be in. <laughs> no, well, no, but I, I figured out an answer for him. So I said, look, double up on the immune modules, take eight on Thursday morning and Friday. <laughs> Go out Friday night, have beer, mm -hmm. eat pizza, have fun, you know, have a good right. time. Call me in a month, let me know how you Right. So sure enough, a month later, you know what, it worked, he says to me. I said, what worked? He said, do what you said, 
the next day I get a little bit of diarrhea. It's nothing, he says. <laughs> In other words, you don't have to be a health nut the rest of your life. Right. Now it took right. him about nine or 10 months to get 100% completely mm-hmm. better from a right. disease where they were going to, I mean, they're going to cut out his phone. Yeah, I mean, that's serious. He, he, you know, he, he might have died. Yeah. So, yeah, you yeah. know, I'm giving you an extreme case. But lupus takes about six months. Mm-hmm. Rheumatoid arthritis takes about eight months. Hashimoto's mm-hmm. takes... Now, I'm talking about complete, completely better. I'm not talking mm-hmm. about, you know, a little bit. Because okay. like, they're going to feel better before that. Right. But see, I learned how to heal the immune system. Which is, I feel, is kind of like my claim to fame. Because very few mm-hmm. doctors talk about it. Yeah, no, no. They, they really don't. They're like, oh, well, we don't know. And they you, yeah. you leave feeling like you have no answers and yeah. you're lost. So many well, people. Well, know. well, the truth, see, if the doctor was really honest, this is what they would say. They'd say, we have no medical cure for your condition. But you know what? There are alternatives. There are people that study right. nutrition or detoxification or natural things. There's chiropractic, there's physical therapy, right. there's uh, acupuncture, there's Ayurvedic medicine. There's all kinds of things so many that things. the medical profession, we don't know about that stuff. We're never right. taught. It's really outside of our purview. Why don't you right. try some alternative? But they, they don't say things. That they say, oh, there's no cure. As if they, yeah. are, as if they, they don't have yeah. all the answers. They certainly don't. Yeah. And that's a really hard place for people to be in, to think that their own body is attacking them. I mean, that, I think those that choice of words, when they say you have autoimmune in your body, it just puts you in a, in a, in a bad place. Oh, so, yeah. Well, you know, one of the main things that the medical profession uses to control and really to suppress people is fear fear yeah, yeah. see they play on your they use these fancy uh, latin terms which i'll give you let me give you an example mm-hmm. there's a condition called idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura you know these elderly people that are on blood thinners they get these blue these yes. purple patches they, they, yes. they bleed under the skin that's yes. that, that's the name for them, right mm-hmm. so what does it mean idiopathic means we don't know what's causing it yeah. Idi- idiot right Yep. Uh, thrombo are uh, these platelets, these little things that right. help the blood clot, uh, and, and not enough of them, uh, and it makes purple spots on your arm. See, right. and that's the literal trait. But you know, but but the truth is, if they didn't use some of these ridiculous blood thinners and use natural means to thin your yeah. blood, half yeah. of these people wouldn't even have that. Yeah, that's scary. Yeah. You now there is a small percentage that is an autoimmune disease, but we can knock that out with the immune modulators. Mm-hmm. So not let's talk. Yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no, please. I just want to immunomodulators. I think our listeners need to know a little bit more what that means, what that is. Can you well, touch okay, on that? Well, okay, so yes, let me explain. So basically, we know in animals there's something called a cell membrane, right? Mm-hmm. And outside of that cell membrane, there are molecules that protrude. Mm-hmm. Now, again, if those molecules, called the glycocalyx, by the way, you can look it up, glycocalyx. So if those molecules at the end there are the correct ones, the immune system says, hey, that's me, leave me alone. I'm going to go after the bad guys. I'm not going to, I'm not going to attack my own tissues. Mm-hmm. The trouble is the diet today is so bad. We don't have the, the biochemicals that make up the glycocalyx. Mm-hmm. So we get mm-hmm. endothelial dysfunction, which leads mm-hmm. to heart attacks and strokes. We get autoimmune diseases. We get yeah. chronic inflammation, but it's all correctable. Mm-hmm. And the immune modulators are a major component because they're literally those biochemicals that you need to make a healthy glycocalyx. Mm-hmm. Isn't that mm-hmm. That's you Amazing. see, it's really rather simple. Yeah. You make see? it sound very so, simple. So, so, so what I do is I, I, I customize the program to the individual. Mm-hmm. If they have an autoimmune, they have to take the immune modulus because they're never going to fix this without it. Mm-hmm. Um, and basically, I just monitor them. A lot of it I can do on the phone. They don't even have to come in many times. They may come in wow. two, three years, and, I, and, and I could do the rest on the phone. So how do the immunomodulators work in the body? They... Well, well, it's it's fast. That now that's a fascinating question. And by the way, I wrote in my book. I explain. It. It's called the Code of Life, and throughout the book, I talk about the immune modulators. In fact, Chapter Seven is called the Amazing System. Okay. okay. Which nobody really talks about. It's the darndest thing. It's so important. You know, I consider the best doctor in, in the world your immune system. Mm-hmm. All, really, all I'm doing is helping the best doctor in the world to 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 uh, to to do his job. Really. Yeah. But anyway, how do they work? Okay, so first of all, they're wonderful for the digestive system. They can heal ulcers. They heal, uh, most cases, GERD or, or e- even hiatal hernia about 80% of the time. And there's I have 
I have a good friend. Her husband has the GERD and the hiatal hernia. Well, he so, went in six months. Of awesome. So anyway, um, and so we heal the gut. You know how important the gut is. And we heal the yeah. gut syndrome, which is super yeah. important because that's really that the root cause of many either allergies or immune uh, or yes. allergies. And then the immune modulators repair the glycocalyx. Takes up mm -hmm. to about eight months or so to completely repair because we have 70 trillion cells. On. It's a lot of yeah. bacteria. Okay. Um, but they get better as they go. And, um, you know, some people are just doing the wrong things. I mean, for example, if you shouldn't eat gluten and sugar and dairy, maybe you need to stay away from that, you know. Right. But not yeah. everybody doesn't have to. Right. And of course, I like organic and I like, you know, properly prepared foods. And let yeah. me give you an example. Let's take oils. Yes. Now, canola oil, if I was to tell you everything about canola oil, you'd sick your stomach, right? Do you know that in a biochemical dictionary, which I read, canola oil was considered unfit for human consumption? Yeah, I believe. Yeah. And yet they're, they're selling it even in whole, whole foods. What's supposedly it, a health food? It's, it's ridiculous. Everything. The ignorance is terrible. And now they, I mean, you know what? What about this nonsense with cholesterol? Yes. It's the, the lead research for the largest cholesterol statin study in the world. When he retired, now he is free to speak. You know what he said? I'll quote him for you. Yeah. The statin cholesterol myth is the greatest fraud ever perpetuated in the history of medicine. Of course, that was before COVID. Yeah. <laughs> <All right. laughs> the biggest, you won't go right? There. No, mm -hmm. we're not going to go there today. Although, by the way, I have a spike, pro a spike protein protection plan. If anyone's suffering from long COVID or from okay. maybe they've had the shots and some bad reactions, I can, okay. I can help them. With that. Okay. Because let's face it, it's, it's messing up your immune system. Yes. So yeah. if we repair the immune system, then it'll get better. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, it's so remarkable. What I, see, I didn't discover this. See, what happened was about 44 years ago, I met a patient that cured himself of a severe case of ulcerative colitis. I didn't know mm -hmm. what he was doing. He was mm -hmm. a nice guy, very friendly, honest as the day is long, but I didn't have a clue what he was doing. He said, look, you got to try these in the class. I didn't know what he was talking about. Mm -hmm. I gave them to the most difficult patients I could find. I'm, I won't even mention how severe the case is. Like, you won't believe me. But they mm -hmm. woke up. It, mm -hmm. That's why I had to write my book. You see. I got, when I saw what these people were, you see, I could always help people, but I couldn't necessarily cure them. Right. Now with the immune modulators, they're absolute, even their blood tests became normal. Wow. Wow. That's huge. So, we, but that, so it was proof that they were cured. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know on the website too, you have a lot of testimonials from people who have all sorts of different autoimmune um, oh, issues. Sure, sure. And you can yeah, listen, heal, people can listen yeah, to them. Yeah. Uh, heal the root cause dot com. Right. Take a look at it. Heal the root cause dot com. Or like I say, you can just call me 954-547-0487. I don't charge for a phone call. Right. You know, let me tell you what happened. Did I tell you this? Years ago, I looked around, I said, our system is so broken. You, let's say you have a complaint. So maybe you call your GP and you get an appointment, you go in there. So either the GP writes you a prescription for a dangerous drug, which cannot heal, or yeah. they'll send you to a, a specialist who will do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Like I say, the Iron Maiden is more concerned about insurance than you. You right. finally get in there for maybe six minutes. I write another script. I mean, is that healthcare? No, it's sick care. It's nonsense. It's, yeah. it's, 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 it's nonsense. So I said, I'm taking the time. I'm going to take my time, get a thorough history, mm -hmm. find out the real cause, the differential diagnosis, mm -hmm. figure out whatever safe and natural alternatives to drug surgery and radiation when possible. Let's mm -hmm. face it, you know, you you know, if your appendix is going to explode, you better go to the hospital. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. I, I'm not opposed to emergency uh, medicine, which can actually right. help. I am opposed to chronic care with drugs and things that are toxic and that can never heal you. That I'm opposed to. Yeah, yeah, it just keeps dragging it on and on and on and on well it's a treatment but it's not a cure look yeah you know i okay. i have a saying but by the way you remember the name florence nightingale yes i do she was the most famous nurse in world war one but when i was writing my book i did a lot of research and i felt let me find out what these wonderful you know doctors and nurses and professors researchers figured out from the past so i read a lot mm -hmm. of stuff you know she was fantastic you know what she said what? only nature heals isn't that beautiful? Yeah. And she was true. right. She true, was right. She, she had it. She she know. Nature's and, very uh, smart. Well, it's been around a long time. <laughs> hey, listen, we'd have been extinct as a species if we didn't, if we didn't have this wonderful system. Yeah. Yeah. And so right. and so the really the key to my work is to let's let's fix your immune system and let's keep it in good running order. And chances are 
you're going to live a much longer, healthier life. I love that. I love it. Beautiful. All right. So Dr. Drucker, again, your phone number, where we can find you on the internet and the name of your book for everybody, please. Okay. It's, my phone number is 954-547-0487. And I'm up with the That's link. That's 954-547-0487. Uh, my best website is healtherootcause.com. That's healtherootcause.com. And then my book is The Code of Life. Um, you might want to call me for a copy of the book. There is a downloadable version. I think there might even be an audio version. But there I'm is not an audio version. I yeah. On, they can listen to it on Audible. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. They can write. Yeah. And, and, and again, look, look I, I don't charge for a phone because I feel as though, you know, you don't really know me and I don't know. But in about a few minutes, I'll figure out probably what we have to do. Mm -hmm. I love it. Okay. Well, thank you so much for being on the Connected Body Podcast. I really, really enjoyed learning more and sharing what you're doing. And it, it was very informative. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. All right. And thank you, everyone. And we'll see you on the next episode of the Connected Body Podcast. Bye-bye. Okay. Thank you.